Just a quick introduction to our lab interactive this week. Your directions should bring you to this screen right here. I believe the direction says start by clicking values right up here on the top right. Um, let's see. If we bring elements out here, let's start with the battery. Values turns on telling you, oh, this is a nine volt battery. If you want to change the voltage, just click on the battery. You get the pretty little toolbar down here. You can flip the direction if you want to, but let's leave it where it started. You can adjust the volts down from a AA battery at 1.5 volts up to 120 volts, like your, um, like your house. If we were doing this um, as an AC circuit, we're kind of glossing over AC versus DC today. Um, let's put this back to nine volts um, just to make life easier. To make a circuit, give a battery, bring a wire, they magically connect. You can stretch the wire out as long as you need to, move it around to make directions. Directions ask you for a triangle type shape. So that's what we're going to arrange here. Whoosh. We're going to stick a light bulb in there. Is one point going to magically stick to that wire, but we're also going to stick another wire in there, and that needs to connect to the other one. I'm going to throw a switch in there just so that you can turn it on and off and then finish it off with another wire. To see if our circuit is working, we click on the switch to close it. Whoosh! Look at that. Right now the wires are set as no resistance. Wires do have some resistance. We'll get into that next week, I think. Notice how the our light bulb is shining all pretty. It's running at 10 ohms. So again, you can go to last week's, uh, you can go to last week's formula and check out if that matches up with the amount of amps you expect going through here. If you want to check the amount of amps going through here, we can bring an ammeter right here. We will need to, in order to make this work, we're gonna to need to cut a hole in our circuit. I'm gonna click there and make break it apart with the scissors. I'm going to scooch this up. I'm going to put my ammeter there and I'm going to connect it right there. And so as the circuit is set up, oh look, 0.9 amps going through the circuit. That should match everything you did last week. If I want to have some real fun, I'm going to change the resistance of the light bulb from 10 ohms, I can run it up to roughly, a, let's say 100 ohms. Oh look, it's still shining, but it ain't nearly as bright. Or let's try it down here. Let's go to half an ohm, maybe. Or no ohms, we've, let's, let's go that way. And half an ohm, we get up to 18 amps roughly. Very bright light, and oops, the battery's on fire because there are some practical limits to how these things work. There's also a reason that we don't use batteries for everything, but this shows you all your pretty options. So I'm going to back out of that. I'm going to put him back to is original 10 ohms if I can. When I'm all done, when I've gotten all my data, your pretty reset button is right here, the circular arrow. Click it and poof, everything's away. You will need to re-click values each time to get those numbers back, but that's not that hard to do. And in the end, when we ask you for um, random objects, you're going to this left side toolbar, 
You're flipping down a couple paces. The third one here gives you a dollar bill, paper clip, coin, eraser, hand, a dog, and a pencil. All worth trying at some point, but we gave you a long enough assignment for this week, I think. That's it. Good luck. We'll talk to you soon.